What is Angelman syndrome? In today's Two Minute Tuesday video, you're gonna know all you need to know starting now. Today's video is brought to you by the Asset 2023 Conference. I'll be speaking there on July 20th, and I hope to see you there. Angelman syndrome, otherwise known as AS, is a genetic disorder that affects the nervous system leading to developmental delays and intellectual disabilities, with epilepsy being a common co-occurring condition in individuals with AS. In fact, epilepsy occurs in approximately 80% of individuals with AS. Now, the age of onset can vary, with some individuals experiencing seizures as early as six months of age, while others develop seizures in adulthood. The most common type of seizure in AS is atypical absent seizures, followed by generalized tonic-clonic seizures and myoclonic seizures. Now it's crucial to identify and treat seizures as soon as possible to improve the quality of life for individuals with AS. And there is no specific medication for epilepsy in AS, and treatment is generally based on the type and frequency of the seizures experienced by the individual. However, some commonly used medications include valproic acid, topiramate, lamotrigine, levetiracetam, carbamazepine, clonazepam, ethosuximide, and felbamate. It's important to note that medication treatment for epilepsy and Angelman syndrome should be tailored to the individual's needs and may require a combination of medications or adjustments over time. Additionally, medication management should be done in consultation with a healthcare professional experienced in treating epilepsy. Now let's look at the EEG. Two high voltage features have been identified as common EEG findings, and those are prolonged runs of anterior dominant rhythmic 2 to 3 hertz with a voltage of 200 to 500 microvolts with a mix of spike and wave discharges seen here, as well as posterior dominant 3 to 4 hertz over 200 microvolts notched delta and theta activities mixed with ill defined spike and wave upon eye closure as seen here. This finding has been predominantly seen in children less than 12 years old. These abnormalities have been proposed to be used as a reliable biomarker in identifying AS, and almost all patients had EEG abnormalities with or without seizures present. And that's it everyone. Thank you for joining us on our Two Minute Tuesday, and I hope to see you next week.